வெல்கம் டு சிஎஸ்சி குரு இந்த செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த டாபிக்ஸ் டோக்கன்ஸ் அண்ட் அட்ரிபியூட்ஸ் இன் கம்பைலர் டிசைன் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன் வி ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் த டாபிக் ரோல் ஆஃப் லெக்ஸிகல் அனலைசர் இன் லெக்ஸிகல் அனாலிசிஸ் வி யூஸ் த டர்ம்ஸ் டோக்கன்ஸ் பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் அண்ட் லெக்ஸிம்ஸ் காமன்லி வி ஷுட் நோ த டிஃபரன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் தீஸ் த்ரீ டர்ம்ஸ் ஸோ இன் லெக்ஸிகல் அனலைசர் If you are giving a source code as an input, it will start to read the input characters one by one and then it will group it into a meaningful lexem. And this lexem will be compared with the patterns to describe the appropriate tokens. Okay, so lexem is nothing but an instance of input characters to be converted to token. So the initial stage is lexem. It will be compared with the pattern and then it will describe the appropriate tokens. Final stage is tokens. okay pattern is nothing but set of rules that is applied to the lexem to describe the appropriate token that is nothing but the pattern so for example if a lexem is identified and if that lexem matches with the reserved words present in the list so pattern will recognize that lexem as a keyword suppose if the lexem matches with a identifier then pattern will recognize that lexem as a token name identifier next token is nothing but it is an abstract symbol representing the lexical unit so if you are considering the token the token will be having the token name and optional attribute value so for the token names the attribute value may also be given this attribute value will be used by the other phases of the compiler if you are considering this example uh, int x is equal to 20 so once the lexical analyzer identifies i n t is a lexem that lexem will be compared with the pattern so pattern will compare this lexem with the reserved words present in the list so if it matches with the reserved words that token is called the keywords next x is a identifier so if you are considering this x it will it won't be matched with any reserved words present in the list so any combination of words or digits that is nothing but the identifier so here x is a identifier next equal uh, so the pattern will compare this equal sign and that will match with the operator so the token name is operator and 20 is a number semicolon will come under punctuation symbol so uh, the lexical analyzer initially it will recognize the input characters into a meaningful group that is called a lexem that is a meaningful word that is called a lexem uh, the rules applied to the identified lexem to describe a token that set of rules is nothing but the pattern and the final lexical unit whether it is a keyword or identifier or operator the final lexical unit is called the tokens next description of tokens so these are all the possible tokens used in the source program and its description is given in this table so if you are considering the lexem if else and for so this will match with the pattern keywords so the token name is keywords this is nothing but any reserved words present in the particular programming language these reserved words are called keywords so we will use under the token name keyword next is score s2 test so if any name they have used with the combination of letters and digits that will come under the token name identifier if you are using a number either it will be a decimal number integer exponential so likewise if you are using in the sense these numbers and constants will come under the token name number plus minus less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to not equal to likewise if you are using any operators used in the source code means that will come under the token name operators if you are specifying anything within the double quotes that will come under the token name literals next all brackets comma semicolon colon likewise is all parentheses and separators if you are considering the that will come under the token name punctuation symbols next attributes for token token is the output produced by the lexical analyzer this token is a lexical unit with token name and optional attribute value so if you are considering this token name this token name is enough for the lexical analyzer and the parser to construct the parse tree but in further phases of the compiler requires the attribute value to create its intermediate representation in a source program when more than one lexem matches with a pattern we need the additional information this additional information we can able to provide with the help of the attribute value for example If you are considering a pattern matches with the number both 0 and 1 additional attribute value is required to recognize whether to use 0 or 1 in that particular place 
okay the appropriate attribute value for any identifier is a pointer to the symbol table entry for that identifier so consider this example for attributes e equal to mc square so this we can write it as e equal to m into c exponentiation with 2 okay so the token names and attribute values are if you are considering this e, e is an identifier. So, for this identifier, we will make an entry into the symbol table as identifier and the attribute value is a pointer to the symbol table entry for this identifier e. So, the appropriate value for an identifier is a pointer to the symbol table entry for that identifier. So, for every identifier, we have to enter the identifier name and its attribute value is nothing but the pointer to the symbol table entry okay so next is assignment operator so for assignment operator the token is assignment operator next m is a identifier so the identifier we have to enter and its attribute value we have to make a pointer to the symbol table entry next multiplication symbol so this is a token and c is a identifier so for this identifier we have to make an entry into the symbol table and attribute value is a pointer to that symbol table and next is exponential operator so that is an operator the token is exponential operator and 2 is a number that number we will enter and its integer value is 2 okay so here if you are considering for the identifiers we have to make an entry into the symbol table and attribute value is nothing but the pointer to the symbol table and for operators operators punctuation symbol and keywords it is not necessary to make an entry into the symbol table so this is the attributes for token thank you for watching this video